Hey, what's going on guys? Ruben back here with the Bulletproof Summary. Going into chapter 9. This is the start of the Bulletproof Roadmap. Uh, roadmap to what he calls a swanky neighborhood. So this is pretty much what you'll be. Your veggies, oils and fats, and proteins will be all in this chapter. So basically, the food falls in three categories. If you want, I'll show you the infographic here. And just so you can see, it's not going to be good. You can definitely find it in the notes below. I, I've got the link, or you can just Google it, print it like I did. Um, so it falls under three categories, right? You got your bulletproof, you got your suspect foods, and you have your kryptonite foods, which are aka toxic. So I'm going to get straight into it with organic vegetables. So. He says organic vegetables because regular vegetables with GMOs and they're being sprayed with all this, these bad chemicals and whatnot, you should get organic or it's grown, right? Um, and what some of the bulletproof organic vegetables include are avocados, olives, bok choy, which is personally my favorite. They should be cooked. Brussels sprouts, which also should be cooked. Collards, spinach, which should be cooked. Kale should be cooked. Asparagus, broccoli, broccoli should be cooked. Um, cabbage, cauliflower, celery, cucumber, dark green leafy lettuce, radishes, summer squashes, and zucchini. So those are the most bulletproof vegetables you can have. I pretty much eat something in that category every single day and I feel amazing. Um, then we go into our suspect vegetables, which are veggies that may not agree with you, but it may agree with you, make you feel good. That's something you have to pay attention to when you eat these these foods. Pay attention to how your body feels after. So these vegetables include artichokes, green beans, eggplant, peppers, tomato, garlic. Um, you could cook with it like most people do. Just don't overdo it and eat it raw when you're sick. You trust me, you'll heal up. I've done it in the past. Onions, beets, and peas. Now, kryptonite vegetables, definitely ones you should stay away from. Do not even eat any of these. Just get away. It's mushrooms and any kind of canned vegetables. Don't eat anything canned. Well, I don't I, I have I don't eat anything canned anymore. Unless it's probably at a restaurant, which is probably why I feel crappy, right? Then we go going to eat it. Because vegetables... Is going to be about 70% of your diet. Like literally everything is going to be with vegetables. So you kind of got to get used to it. But there are ways to make it taste good. Next we go into eating healthy fats. Which is like the second most thing you'll be, you'll be consuming for your nutrition. And some of the bulletproof fats include grass fed animal fats. So you have your bone marrow, tallow, lard, etc. Not any poultry fat. Um, your grass-fed butter, your grass-fed ghee, your virgin coconut oil, MCT oil, fish or krill oil, fermented cod liver oil, non-soy lecithin or sunflower lecithin, cacao butter or avocado oil. Some suspect fats you should pay attention closely to include extra virgin olive oil, palm and palm kernel oil, unheated nut oils, which include macadamia, almond, walnut, etc. Pastured bacon, grass-fed butter and ghee, and ghee, pastured duck, goose fat, pastured chicken fat. Finally, you have your kryptonite foods, and fats and oils, sorry, which are safflower and sunflower, commercial lard, canola, corn, cottonseed, flax, peanuts, soy, and any other vegetable oil. Most of my family cook with, veg with vegetable oils. I'm trying to get that out of that. Cook with coconut oil, or if you don't have coconut oil, olive oil. But try your best to cook with coconut oil. and Do it every single day. Um, any margarine or any other artificial trans fat product. Then we're looking at... Next we're going into proteins, which is the third most kind of food you'll be eating. So some of the proteins in, include grass-fed beef and lamb, pastured eggs, grass-fed collagen protein, which you can buy on the upgraded self website, colostrum, whey protein concentrate, wild-caught seafood, which include anchovies, haddock, 
petrol, sole, sardine, sockeye salmon, summer flounder, wild tilapia, and wild trout. So sushi has been pretty much farmed. So sushi depends on where you go. Some places have it with wild caught seafood, but you have to ask. Um, some suspect protein will include poultry, pastry pork, pastry duck, goose, chicken, and turkey. Factory farmed and clean whey protein isolates and sprouted legumes. So pay attention when you have any of these. Then you have your kryptonite protein. So farm seafood, just like I explained just a little while ago. Factory farmed meat, soy, and beans. And why they soy I've stayed away from even more. If I do eat sushi, I do not use soy sauce. Soy sauce. It's very bad for you whether you're a woman or a man. It's even worse if you're a man because it raises est raises your estrogen levels. You don't want that. So, I mean, unless you do. <laughs> no judgments there. Then we go into dairy. Now, dairy is really hard. There's literally very few things you can have when it comes to dairy. And a lot of the stuff he says to get for dairy, it is almost close to impossible to get it in a city very you have to live by farms or something but let's go into it so some bulletproof some bulletproof dairy products include anything that's grass fed organic raw full fat milk cream or yogurt so a lot of the commercial yogurt you find even in whole foods will not cut cut it i have notes in the book for it i don't want to get into it here because then the video will be too long 20 30 minutes to take a while. So, if you have any questions, comment below and I'll answer it. So, or you can just buy the book, read it. So, no, there's no suspect there. You just go straight into kryptonite. So, anything kryptonite includes pasteurized, conventional, low fat, fat free dairy products, cheese, powdered milk, condensed milk, ice cream, prepared dairy products like American cheese, coffee creamer. Um, coffee creamer, cheese spread, cheese sauces, etc. Those basically most of what we eat, right? We drink milk, everyone has a gallon of milk, it's this whole big thing, full fat milk. I used to drink it, then I stopped down went to soy milk. Now I'm drinking coconut milk. At least coconut milk isn't too bad. That's actually gonna be in the next chapter. Coconut milk will be in there. But um, that is all for today. Chapter nine is done. Tomorrow's chapter 10, we get into the fruits. Fruits is going to be a long part because there's so many of them. So, hope you look forward to it and see you next time.